Good day mga kabaro, this is Chip Makinista. Let's talk about how to clean plate type cooler. Number one, take measurement of the distance between the pressure plate and the frame of the plate type cooler. The measure distance will serve as our reference in assembly of plate type cooler. Next is close the inlet and outlet valve of the cooler and open the drain valve to drain the water inside the cooler. Number 3. Loosen the bolt alternately. After unscrewing all the tightening bolts and nut completely, move the pressure plate up to the guide bar support. Then separate the plates from each other. Use a fiber brush when brushing is applied. The use of metal brush will damage the plate surface causing corrosion trouble. After finishing the cleaning work, dry the plates in the gasket. Then wipe the gasket surface and the backside surface of the group using a lint free cloth. Solid particles on the gasket surface and backside surface of gasket crew will cause gasket damage and leakage through the damaged gasket. After the plates are put back accordingly, move the pressure plate slowly towards the plate and install the tightening bolts. Then tighten the tightening bolt nuts in the reverse sequence to that of disassembly. Tighten the bolt nuts until the distance between the pressure plate and the frame is the same as before disassembly. Close the seawater side drain valve at the bottom of the cooler and open the air vent valve at the top of the cooler. Then slowly open cooler seawater side inlet valve. Then wait until all air is bent out from the seawater side cooler. Next, open the pressure water side drain valve at the bottom of the cooler. This is to check if there is a leakage between the seawater side and the pressure water side of the cooler. There is no leakage found. Close the pressure water side drain valve and then slowly open the pressure water cooler outlet valve to remove air from the pressure water side of the cooler. After completely venting the air from the pressure water side of the cooler, close the vent bulbs. Then open the pressure water inlet and outlet bulbs. Finally, check the cooler for any leakages. Thanks for watching. Until next time.